Good afternoon, members of the media. First and foremost, John, welcome to Chennai and to Chennai NFC. Um, welcome to the family, as we've always said. We look forward to um, a wonderful relationship. We wish you all the very best. We have very high hopes and expectations from you, and we're very confident that you will fulfill those hopes and expectations, not just of ours and the teams, but of the millions of fans that Chennai NFC enjoys across this wonderful country and the ISL. Members of the media, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Like uh, Vita said, the last three seasons have been very memorable for all of us. Um, although last season did not meet our expectations, uh, still having won one cup in three years is, I think, a commendable uh, achievement. With um, John coming in, we bring in a lot of experience, experience of the game, experience of man management. We also bring in John because of his great experience in similar conditions and handling new young teams. John's um, keen eye for young talent, which as you all know, Chennaiyan has always tried to promote. Day after, we go into the player draft and um, John, Vita, I will be prepping for that back in Mumbai. And we hope for a good draft and we hope to be uh, able to come back here with as competitive a team as possible and challenge for the cup once again because uh, that's what Chennai NFC is here to do. We'd like to win. Uh, we like to stay one of the most popular teams in the ISL. And we hope not to let our fans down who have been immense. I'd like to thank, um, you know, the Super Machas particularly for the warm welcome that they gave John at the airport and for the constant support that the fans of the team have always given. Thank you. Yes, well, first of all, um, I'd like to um, thank everybody that's uh, turned up here today. Uh, I'd also like to say a particular thank you to the fans that greeted me at the airport about 5 a.m. Uh, the day before yesterday. It was um, something that I wasn't expecting, and I was actually very humbled and overwhelmed by the uh, attendance at such a, an early hour of the morning. Um, so I'd like to thank those fans that uh, turned up. I'd obviously like to thank the owners for uh, giving me this opportunity to come to India. Uh, I really believe that the uh, ISL is, is a league that um, is, is growing very, very quickly. And um, even as uh, back in England, I've seen uh, how it started uh, from a very small acorn three years ago and has started to to grow uh, bigger and bigger. There is a uh, worldwide interest now uh, in the league and uh, that can only be pleasing for everybody that's coming to India. Um, I'm joining a, a football club and I'm following in the footsteps of uh, Marco Matarazzi who has done an amazing job here. Um, he certainly has left a, a big pair of shoes uh, to try and fill, um, but I hope that uh, I can bring success back to the club over, over the forthcoming seasons. And uh, I'd just like to thank you once again for a tremendous welcome that I've had to the club. I hope that uh, I can give the club and yourselves an exciting season ahead. Thank you. No, I consider that we, we have an advantage because we already have uh, four players, um, which is actually four more than Delhi have got. So. I consider it to be an advantage, even though we come in at round four. Um, we've already got four very good footballers in the football club that are signed to us that are our players. Um, so in many respects, we, we have an advantage over many of the other teams that are involved in the draft. Um, you might also ask, uh, what do I know about Indian players? Um, I have alongside me Shabir, who's very knowledgeable of the uh, boys that are likely to be in the draft. and. Um, I have to admit, I don't know that many of the Indian players, but uh, I've sat with uh, Shabir. We, we have a plan. We have certain targets that, uh, that we're going to try and, and sign during the, uh, the day of Sunday. And um, it's certainly going to be an unusual situation. I've never been involved in something like this before. Um, it's going to be slightly uh, um, awe-inspiring for myself, though, I think, because we will, uh, we'll certainly go into it full of expectations. I say we have certain targets that we're hoping to get on Sunday and um, by Sunday night we'll, we'll know exactly what we have got. 
Next question. But I do have an expert with, in Shabir, so um, I'm guided very much by him. He's got a big part to play on Sunday. As you know, draft is based on a lot of uh, permutation and combinations. Given those permutation combinations, we'll try and get the best possible outcome and pick players closest to the profiles that we are looking for. And I still feel that there is enough potential, enough talent in India, and we can bet on it like we have done in the past, like on Jerry and some of the developing or developmental players, rather. So I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> Year one also, we started with by inheriting part of the team, and we could get there. So I don't think that's a dampener at all. Of course, we all like to retain as many players as possible because then there is continuity. But Abhishek, MS, and myself, all three of us are, of course, with John and Shabi's guidance, I'm 100% sure that we'll get the best out of them. Thank you. Well, I'm not obviously going to say anything uh, now, but um, yeah, we, we do have targets, and we will be happy if we get 75% of them will be delighted. But other than that, I'm not uh, prepared to say anything else. Um, probably if I start with the negatives first, I think um, some of the Indian players that are playing uh, in, in the ISL have probably been a little bit um, in awe of some of the foreign players that have come. Um, I think possibly they've not really been given the opportunity to prove themselves. I think um, the foreign, if it's a choice between a foreign player and uh, a domestic player, the foreign players tended to be selected. And um, I think it's been a little bit daunting for some of the uh, domestic players to try and prove themselves. Um, but I, I'm impressed with the regulation that's changed this year, uh, given, given each club uh, an extra domestic player. You, you must now play with six players and you can only have uh, five foreigners in the side and I think that's a positive step by the authorities to make that kind of decision because ultimately that will improve the national team um, and you will get better players and, and obviously us coaches that are coming in we, we obviously need to play more of the domestic players than we've had than we have done in the past and I cannot believe that a member of my staff has left his telephone on so that will be an immediate fine Having said that, just, just if I can add, um, especially for, for us, the management of the team, you never like to see a player that's been with you for so many years go elsewhere and wear different colors. But you, we also do understand that that's just the system, that's the way um, the situation is. Uh, and we're okay with it. We still believe that once you've played for Chennai, in our hearts, you'll always be part of Chennai. But we do also understand that uh, things have to move on in a sport. Sometimes it's not possible to retain the players. We would have loved for everybody to be back, but be it in season one, season two, or season three, we've had to adapt the team a lot. Uh, so we will, we will um, hope that we can get back some of our, our players that have been with us. If not, we know the new ones will come in and will be wonderful at what they do, and they'll make the new family. Um, uh, philosophy can cover a multitude of things. Um, really, I think one thing that stands out for me is if you wear if you wear the shirt, if you wear the Chennai shirt, you have to give everything you got. Um, I'm very much a believer in players have to commit themselves totally to the to the club and to the team. I'm a big team player. Everything will involve the team. Everything we do, we do it together. Um, and that, that possibly more than anything, uh, anybody that gives 100% every, each and every game will get my support and obviously the, the support from the owners and the fans. And I'm quite sure that um, I'm able to say that, that some of the best players that have played for our club over the last three seasons have been the ones that have been committed to the job and committed to wearing their shirt. Um, when they pull on that shirt, as I said, it's so important that they give 100% each and every game. Um, and if they do that, they will always be respected by everybody within the football club. But I also expect discipline, I expect players to, to conduct themselves properly, to behave themselves on the pitch. 
Uh, don't get involved with referees, don't get involved with the opposition. It's hard enough trying to win a football match when you've got 11 players. It's, it's even harder trying to win a football match with 10 players on the pitch or 9 players. So that side of things has to be right. Um, I just want everything done professionally. Uh, I'd like to think that the whole club, the mantra within the whole football club is that um, we respect the opportunity that we've got playing for a great club like ourselves and uh, everything has to be done professionally and, and to the best of our ability at all times. And if we get that, we'll win a lot of football matches. I'm glad that two leagues are operating at the same time because that only means that there will be more talent that will be produced. As far as infrastructure is concerned, I'm sure there are enough grounds. We are already talking to SDAT and we will look at more options if that's not available. We are not too worried about it. I mean, I hope I'm answering your question though. I'm a little ambiguous about it though. No, I, listen, I, I had, um, uh, it, it wasn't stress related whatsoever. I had a, a problem with uh, my aortic valve. It was leaking, uh, unbeknown to me. And um, when we found out, obviously I knew I had to go in at some stage and have a, a open heart surgery. Um, I knew it was coming, so I went and had it done. And uh, I, uh, Listen to Gerard Houllier many years ago when he was manager of Liverpool. He had a, a serious heart scare and um, he obviously had the operation and um, six months later he went back as the manager of Aston Villa. And uh, he says himself it was too quick. He, he went back to football uh, far too quick and he should have taken off uh, a lot longer than what he did. So obviously when I had this operation um, just over two years ago, last January, I, um, I made sure that I took off plenty of time and recovered fully um, before I came back to work. But listen, um, my heart now, I, I basically have a, a new valve that was put in. Um, my heart is probably 99% better than anyone else in this room at the moment. So I don't think it's a problem whatsoever. Well, I, I think the, the thing that hit me more than anything, obviously, was the support. Um, absolutely gobsmacked the, the, the amount of support that um, Chennai get themselves and how vocal they are, how passionate they are. Um, that really was a huge surprise to me and I've seen obviously the attendances and you know you're averaging up in the 20s which many clubs in England would be ecstatic to have those kind of figures. So in, in that respect, I was um, gobsmacked by the, the, the support and the noise that they make. And I just think the, the way that the whole um, league is presented, uh, I think the television company do, do a very good job actually, the way it's been presented on TV. Um, so we, we get to follow it back home. Um, obviously it tends to be uh, highlights of the games. Um, you can normally find it on one of the, uh, you can stream it on one of the stations as well back home. So. Um, I, I was absolutely amazed, as I said, by, by the fans. And also the, the quality of the football has, has been very good. It's been exceptionally exciting, uh, as you well know. And to see what Chennai have, have done in, in such a short space of time, I mean, to actually win the league was just unbelievable. And obviously I've been getting first-hand stories uh, in the last couple of days from everybody associated with the club, uh, just what that actually meant that year, with the, with the problems that you had off the field as well and um, you still ended up going to the final and winning the final uh, for the people of Chennai. It was just uh, an amazing experience for everybody. So I've seen a lot of it. Um, th the reason that I'm sat here today is because it really does excite me. As I said earlier on in the conference, I feel that there's, there's something beginning here. It's the beginning of something and uh, I really want to be part of it. <laughs>